Sexy Leos. How you doing? Welcome to the Gifted Hermit. If you're new, my name's Leela. I reside in London. If you'd like to, let me know where you reside in the world because I'm always, always intrigued to know where my viewers are from. Let's get into this. I want to see what's up with you guys. What's the story for Leos? Sun, Rising and Venus. Yes, darling. London. I reside in London. If you'd like to, let me know where you reside. Always intrigued to know my viewers are from. We are on our third friggin' lockdown. It's just an absolute joke, I tell you. Right. Oh. Hmm. Two of Cups came out there. It came out reverse. I'm taking cards reverse these days, you know, as they come. Then we've got the Two of Wands. Wheel of Fortune. All right then, so overall energy. I feel maybe there's a disconnection here. Disconnection at this point could be with a friend, a family member, a lover. Maybe they've gone away, gone on a trip. Mm-hmm. But don't worry, because distance makes the heart grow fonder. <laughs> They'll be back. Oh, that's nice. They'll be back. Someone's going to be back, you know. Regardless of this disconnection, Leo, I feel like someone's going to be back and change is good. Maybe stepping outside your comfort zone and stuff like that, you know. Mm -hmm. Mature. Maturity here. You know, you're becoming more emotionally mature, Leo. That is what Tara is saying here. You and your person, perhaps, or just where you are right now, okay? If you're waiting for contact, contact's going to be happening. Traveling, you know, I see travel here. Travel for you or your person. Maybe you guys are talking about travel a lot. Leo, so you'd be thinking about holidays, vacations, getting the flip out of here. <laughs> you know, it happens. It's healthy. Some of you are dealing with third-party situations. This doesn't have to be physical, right? Could be friendships, okay? But there maybe there was some sort of hurt here. Some of you are feeling betrayed or feeling hurt. A sense of loss right now. Mm -hmm. What else for Leah's? And this story that is unfolding. <laughs> so don't worry about it. That's what I see here, you know? I see growth here. I see you feeling liberated. Some of you, you know, you're going to have someone coming back from the past as well. All right? Remain passionate. Remain uplifting. You know, remain your positive self. Don't be too judgmental of others on yourself. Don't be too hard on yourself, you know. Stay forward focusing. You know, I see a lot of you guys really going for it. Mmm. So what I see here, if anyone that's wanting the truth, you know, you're going to get it. You know, this is getting down to the business. This is a, a new beginning, with a new opportunity here for some of you as well, right? I do see truths coming out. Mm -hmm. What major arcana have we got here? We've got a lot of kings. We've got a lot of masculine energy here, all right? There's going to be an event where you're going to get some truths, my darling, all right? Some of you are not feeling perhaps independent, not questioning whether you're doing enough in life, Leo, right? Of course you are. As long as you keep going, then that's what's important here. The importance is not to, to never give up. We've got a lot, a lot of masculine energy here, you know? I knew, I was just about to say, I wouldn't be surprised if the magician came out, you know, that divine masculine, very powerful card to have um, out of the deck when it comes to our powers and what we're able to achieve and what it is we're manifesting. We have to be careful what it is we're manifesting, right? Try to keep, remembering to keep thoughts positive. So I see a lot of you trying to keep positive, which is good. Trying to get over hardships, hard times, trying to look to the positive. Remain positive, Leo. You guys are doing all right. Mm -hmm. Let's continue. Let's get some clarification on this lowdown right now, okay? We've got the King of Earth, the King of Wands, 
the king of cups the only king that's missing is the air <laughs> a lot of masculine energy here you know which is good you know because you guys are the sun card and that is divine masculine you know where the moon is the divine feminine and the dark side all right let's continue with leos please guys what's up with leos I love the flinging cards. There's a sense of <clears throat> it's like moving on and f from what people think, you know. Healing, going within, understanding yourself, moving away from the status quo, moving away from other people's opinions, the view that you have of yourself, Leo. And, and uplifting that and bringing it into a more positive state. Becoming more intelligent. More positive, more uplifting, celebrations to be had, you know? Happy about life, trying to be, some of you, you know, someone's trying to be happy about life, you know? And not let anyone take away your mojo. At the same time, being sensible trying to make the right choices, having courage to, to, to find your own happiness, to love yourself, to love others, to see things with an open heart, to see people with an open heart. This is really nice, you know. I like that, how that's come out reversed as well, you know. Addictions, dark thoughts, just honest behaviour, karmic energies, really shifting that and good for you. Not trying to worry, not wanting to fight, not wanting to worry about anything negative, only giving positive. Really, that's you guys really um, putting on a front. You guys are good at that. And don't shoot the messenger. I say this with the biggest heart. So I see you guys, you know, really putting on a front. Independence is important to you. Quality of life. Trying to enjoy life, see the positives. Some of you are single, some of you are trying to enjoy being single. Or, you know, that say la vie, whatever will be, will be. You know? Not wanting to feel sorry for yourself. If something's coming to an end, accepting that. No more trauma in my life. Final messages for this story. So hopefully, you know, not every piece is going to resonate with people. I'm going to keep this as general as possible. I've tried to. Hopefully you found some messages in here. Please remember to smash the like button. You've still got 48 hours to enter into the Valentine's competition for singles only. All you've got to do is follow me on Instagram, like the post. Pretty simple, Leo's, all right? What else does Leos need to know before we go? Like, what's the energy? What shall I tell them? What do they need to know before they go? Mm. Mm. It's nice that it came out reversed. But they're all reversed, so... And I changed this path as well. <laughs> so, look, whatever this is, all right? This is past energy. It's the first card, you know? That type of thinking the worst or feeling betrayed any loss, just let it go, you know? You've been thinking about it a lot. Whoever this was that betrayed you or feeling betrayed, you've been undecided about a decision here, still undecided perhaps with regards to, to that. But ultimately, you are your own creator, right? And it's, it's important to think positive, which I think a lot of you guys are, you know, trying to look to the future. Suppressing those shadow side thoughts and behaviours, right? Overcoming addictions, overcoming self-doubt. You know, get, getting your truth. A lot of king energy here. A lot of king energy. But I see new beginnings here. I see this turning over a new leaf. Let me know what's up with you guys, all right? Who betrayed you? Who made you, do you feel like you've lost something? Because this is also loss, you know? This is a, a loss of something, feeling betrayed, third party situations. 
distraught about something, right? But overall, your mind's in a good place or trying to be in a good place. So good for you, my lovelies, all right? Hope you enjoyed this reading. Please remember to give me a thumbs up, Leo. Love, peace, and light, and I'll catch you on the rebound. Mwah.